Bowman here at BW1.com and we're going to take a look at Microsoft Security Essentials, which is a free antivirus program created by Microsoft, which is currently in beta. So let's take a look. When you first install it and have it set up, the first screen you'll see is the Home tab. And on the Home tab, you have your basic information, such as if your real-time protection's on or if your virus and spyware definitions are up to date. And on to the right of that, you can do a scan now and you have your options between a quick scan, a full scan, or a custom scan. The, the custom scan will allow you to pick specific locations that you want to do your scan. And down here is where you'll see your schedule scan and you can change your schedule scan right here. To, if you click that, it'll take you to the settings tab. Next tab is the update tab. You click update, very basic tab. You can actually click on update. It'll update your antivirus automatically. If you have um, Windows updates turned on, if it's on automatic or download, but let me choose when to install, it'll automatically download those and notify you and um, let you know to install them. Automatic updates will obviously install them automatically. And you can see here on, on this tab, you can check when the last time your definitions were created and the virus and spyware definition versions. On the history tab is where all of the uh, any detected items go. So if you have a detected item that's gonna that they think may be a virus, it'll 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 show you which items have been detected. And then on this this particular radio button here, it shows you items that they've decided to quarantine because they're not sure if they're a virus or spyware, or it might be actually something legit. And you can choose between remove them, restore them, or you can remove them all if you, if you know if you think they're all um, viruses or spyware. And down here is allowed items. This allows you to put any of the ones that are legit software that you do know of that you can actually put in here and so that the next time Microsoft Security Central scans, it won't um, it won't trigger that as a quarant and try to quarantine the item again. Your next tab and your last tab is settings. You can change your schedule scan here. You can change the default actions. So if it's a severe alert, you can have it remove immediately versus a lower alert, you can have it uh, quarantine. You can also um, you can also allow, allow Microsoft Security Essentials, MSE rather, just to choose the, the recommended action for you. You can choose to turn on or turn off your real-time protection. You can exclude specific files and locations, exclude file types, exclude certain processes. If you go into the advanced section, you can actually choose between scanning archives, creating a system restore point, allow users to view the full history, or you can check this box off and actually scan a removable drive. So if somebody has a USB pen drive or a USB uh, hard drive, and you're not sure if they have uh, any any type of virus or something on it, if you click on that, it'll scan it before it actually gets plugged in. It'll scan it before it allows it to be plugged in and to be used. And Microsoft SpyNet, most antivirus uh, programs have something similar to this. It's basically allowing you to send more information in them to help to protect you better. You can choose a basic or advanced membership, so it's up to you. And that's pretty much it for Microsoft Security Essentials. It's a very basic program. Um, it's a very stripped down version of Windows Live One Care. A little more advanced than Windows Defender since this does protect against viruses, but Windows Defender was more on the spyware side of things. Um, it's supposed to be free and not in competition with uh, bigger companies like Symantec, McAfee, ESET, and Kaspersky, you know, like the paid subscription antivirus program. Microsoft supposedly is aiming this more towards people that don't buy an antivirus program and don't pay for a yearly subscription. So they're supposed to give them some type of basic uh, basic protection. So I don't, it'll be interesting to see where this goes. I don't see this, like I said, I don't see this being a direct competitor to those, but I do see this more maybe in competition with like AVG free, like some of those free antivirus programs that are offered out there. Um, I've been running this for about two weeks. It's very lightweight. I haven't seen any system strain. Updates basically come daily. I haven't seen it where it's been like months, well, like, you know, sorry, not months, but like days that it's updated, but it's updated pretty much daily with the latest antiviruses versus some of the other programs will update you hourly. This updates daily, which is kind of a good sign of things. So it'll be interesting to see where this really goes. I can see this sort of being, once this is out of a beta and sort of in the final product, sort of being for, for people that have sort of low cost machines, something like a network or something like that, that they instantly want to put a, some type of a cheap protection on it maybe. But um, I guess I don't see this fully competing with um, any of the paid subscription programs. But it's worth a shot if you, if you can't afford an antivirus program. This is at least something on here from a bigger company like Microsoft. So we'll see how well it protects, at least some, some type of protection. So if you're able to still sign up for the beta, I would definitely try it. I think it's limited to the US, Japan, and Brazil, I believe. But um, once it opens up wider, I would definitely try to, try to give it another shot. Try to give it a shot and see how it works for you.
So this is Bowman from BW1.com showing you Microsoft Security Essentials and reminding you to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash BW1.com, that's BW1.com, and follow our RSS feed on our site. And remember to live your tech world in high definition.